Hi there, this is Wendy Harrington and we're looking today at um, day 15 of the gratitude practice and this is magically heal your relationships. But before I go into day 15, I just want to share from day 14 and my favourite line in the whole book so far, which is to start your day by saying thanks for the great news coming to me today. And um, I did that yesterday and the day before. And um, I have had loads of great news, <laughs> so I really encourage you to try that. Start your day with a line, thanks for the great news coming to me today. And um, one of them, I can't remember which one, was where we made a little post-it note um, about um, giving thanks for the money that we'd received in our lives. So I, I'm, you know, I've done a little post-it note with, um, uh, you know, thank you for the great news coming to me today to remind me to, um, to share that because yesterday I had great news after great news after great news. It was just wonderful. Um, even had a lottery win thrown in there, only three numbers, but it's still fantastic, isn't it? You know, so, um, and you know, beautiful messages from clients, uh, are just wonderful, wonderful, lots and lots and lots of great news. So, uh, yeah, so give that one a go because that's, I um, have to say, that's my favorite, favorite little line so far. So, on to day 15, which is magically heal your relationships, and it's all about the fact that um, where there is bitterness, resentment in a relationship, um, that that's very damaging for us actually is the point. So um, there's a quote here from Buddha which says, holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. And I think that is so true. So, um, and in this practice for, for this one, you think of a difficult relationship and then you list out 10 things that you're grateful for to that per about that person. And then what she says is that gratitude will transform that relationship. And I have no doubts that that's the case. Not always easy, is it? Because, you know, when we feel hurt by somebody in their actions or something's happened, um, sometimes there's a part of us holding on. Um, but I 100% believe it's true that the only person that we're really damaging is us. And, um, and that, um, I want to share with you the cycle of blame. So I'm going to put a link to that below, which is about coming out of the story of what you think you know, said person has done or what happened. And it's not to say that those things didn't happen, but that if you really choose peace and freedom, then that's um, by shifting your energy state and clearing, you know, your pain around the event, around what the incident happened with that person or around the difficulties with that relationship to bring yourself to peace. And, and people are who they are. You can't change anyone else, and you, but you can just accept them for who they are and how close a friendship you have um, is entirely up to you and how natural that friendship is will um, will spring out of, of how true you're being to yourself and the truest you is the you that's at peace so uh, yes yeah, so I'm going to share the cycle of blame with you so have a look at that one in the practice and um, for me when it comes to relationships one of my favorite practices is to practice forgiveness so for that to bring in you know I think of Jesus and the loving energy of Jesus not that I'm religious um, but to me there's just something beautiful like it just represents that unconditional love um, but some people you could think of the universe you could think of a ball of light um, you could think of the most gorgeous goddess whatever to you signifies that unconditional love that you imagine that the energy of that the feeling of that the love of that and then you imagine yourself and you wrap yourself in it and you imagine the person that you've got the difficulties with and you try to wrap them in it if you don't want to forgive them and you're holding on, you won't be able to wrap them, and that's fine. So you just acknowledge that you can't, but you know that you want peace, and so you ask that loving energy to help you forgive. And then you just practice each day, several times a day, whenever it pops into your head, until suddenly you find you can wrap the other person in light. And um, I have found uh, miraculous things happen in, in relationships that have been challenging through practicing that. Very, very powerful, powerful practice. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that's day 15. Um, magically heal your relationships because uh, what we want is you at absolute peace. So, lots of love from me to you, and I shall speak to you again very soon. Bye for now.